What's up guys? It's Tony again, and I'm here with Guru Marty. What's up? And I'm gonna break down this tune for you. Check out the link below. It's awesome, radness. Let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna start out with an A major chord. Just like this. So what you're gonna do is strum it down and let go of your ring finger and let that open B string uh, ring. See that? Take that off. And then you're gonna take the the G string and the B string and just play them like that. Oh, sorry. Just kidding. Then you're gonna take the G and the B and uh, play them like that. Just like that. Then what you're gonna do is immediately go to this D add nine. So it goes. Do that again. Then you're going to pick these strings here. So it's the G, B, E, B, G, and then back to the A. So that sounds like. And that's, you know, basically the verse. Then we have these, this little progression up to the lick. Um, so what we're going to do is, right after you do the what I just showed you, let's see. A, D7, E minor, D major 7, C major 7. So let's try that again. A, D7, E minor, D major 7, C major 7, nah. Okay, then we got this like super power riff. show you that right now. So what it is, it's open A, sorry, open E, excuse me. It's open E, then, then the uh, third fret, G note on the sixth string, then the open A, so open E, G, third fret, sixth string, open A, C, third fret, fifth string, Open D to a uh, F, and that's the uh, fourth string on the third fret. So here we go. See that? Open down, open down, open down. You kind of pause on that C. Pause, you know, you kind of hold that a little longer. Drop that note down a half step, um, and it's on the uh, third string, second fret. So you go. Then you use your open E there. Now you're you sort of want to land in this A major. tricky but it's super cool um, you're gonna leave your hand your your first finger barred there okay in this a so really only gonna be playing
playing these three strings right here for this next part. Um, it's this, this A string, your D string, and your G string. Third, fourth, and fifth strings for this riff. Staying in this A shape right here. Hold that down, bar it down. So we go like this, watch. So you're gonna play these three. Right? Now you're gonna do a, it's like a hammer on pull off with your third finger on the fourth fret uh, G string. Okay, so that goes like this. Okay. Now you're gonna come back and lay that down. And then also lay this pinky down here on the uh, fourth string, D string. I mean, fourth fret, D string. So check this out. See how I'm laying both of those down, right? second string there. So that right now, you've taken your pinky here, now you're moving it down a half step and using your third finger, your ring, uh, ring finger. You're sort of taking the bass line, watch, I'll play the riff, watch how the bass line just goes chromatically down. down okay so here we are again at the beginning of this riff hammer on pull off lay down pinky and third finger and ring finger on the fifth and fourth frets so you go and then go so right there that's using the second string there so what I said about just using those three isn't true it's actually, <laughs> you do use this extra string here. Uh, I forgot about it, but you, I think you're with me still. So. Right there with you. You're with me? You with me? I'm with you. You with me? All right, so here we go. Laying both of those down, now you pick these notes out here. That's your third and second string within this shape here. Now you're gonna play this finger is going to come up and take this bass note and drop it down. Watch. Boom. See that? Now your ring finger is on the fourth fret D string. It came from the fifth, now to the fourth. So. You want to kind of strum all of those notes, even the A. So now we're going to do that same thing, but we hold that there. The pinky's going to actually play that hammer pull off now. See that? On the G string. Okay. Okay. Okay, see that? So now we've done the hammer pull off with the pinky. Now you're going to drop this down, the bass note goes down again, you use your, your middle finger on the third fret D string, and you go, and then hammer on, pull off again with your third finger, and then back to the A. So slowly. Between the movements, watch. Start it with the open A. Boom.
back to the, uh, the verse. Now, another cool thing you can do here in the verse, okay, so there's that riff, okay? Um, I just want to show you another little trick you can do. The bass, if you listen to the, the uh, recording, the bass is playing an F, um, an F note over top of that, that D add nine. I like to sort of add it with my thumb here. It's a good way to do it. Just an option for you. You can and get in your, your your D9 position there. It seems that the the pinky kind of falls in there comfortably to use to play that note. Either way you want to do it, then just clip that little F note there with your thumb. So you can just kind of lay it down. Whoop. Seven, E minor, oops, minor, D major seven, C major seven, the riff. So there you go. That's a, it's a little tricky, but it's fun. Thanks a lot. See you soon.